talked about he's making his way to the Kasarani Stadium and uh, mm, that's another president there will be Djibouti. telling you Djibouti president who is, has also made his way to the Kasarani Stadium they are being received by CS Rachel Omamo and Nairobi governor who has been quite busy welcoming the guests uh, bearing in mind that the function is happening in the capital Nairobi, Nairobi Governor Sakaja there. We also had, uh, I saw the head of public service as well. They are making their way to the dais, but on your right, the bottom picture there, we have the pres Deputy President-elect Rigadi Gashagwa and his motorcade making its way. It's almost at the Kasarani Stadium and up just above that we have the President-elect. The moment we are all been waiting for is just uh, uh, almost happening there. Kenyans are keeping up with the brave face. They are still energized. Remember, by 5 a.m. this morning, the gates of Kasarani uh, had already been closed because no more fans could have uh, entered that because a lot of people have already made their way and seated and actually enjoying the moment. I think uh, uh, looking by what's happening or what's unfolding, uh, you can see the heads of states or representatives from various parts of uh, countries. Uh, I think this is the most important and the most exciting moment uh, day for Kenyans. Because uh, you see even the, 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 the residents of the His Excellency, the, the, the President, elect. Um, people are already there and uh, the others who are waiting are the, 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 the Karsarani and this is going to be the most interesting uh, moment in this uh, great nation of, uh, of, of Africa, that is Kenya. And we have seen Kenyans, they are thronged to just uh, uh, watch the motorcade there from uh, the uh, deputy president's uh, residence in Karen there, where we have the president-elect currently driving, or rather his motorcade headed to the Kasarani Stadium. And ahead of him, uh, from your screen, is uh, uh, deputy president-elect, that is Rigadi Gashagwa motorcade. We're expecting any minute from now uh, to, uh, to access um, the Kasarani Stadium. And according to the program, uh, we are seeing that they're running ahead of schedule. If uh, the time on uh, your screen and my watch is anything to go by, they were expected at 11.35. Uh, sticklers of time there, so we are yet, uh, uh, they're going to be arriving early. And we also saw the Chief Justice, uh, Martha Kome, also arrive early as well as the Dep Deputy Chief Justice uh, Philomena Mwilu there who already seated at the dais. And as you can see from the bottom left side of uh, your screen, Gashagwa's motorcade has already accessed the vicinity of the Kasarani Stadium. We expect um, distance or rather, you know, of around five to ten minutes there to have uh, the uh, president-elect access the same venue. But as you can see, Kenyans who could not fit in the already packed uh, Kasarania Stadium there, cheering on the deputy president-elect motorcade there. That uh, therein we have um, Rigadi Gashagwa, the deputy president-elect, as well as his wife, uh, Pastor Dorcas, uh, within that, as well as their family. We're going to see them access uh, the Kasarani Stadium. And on the other end, Paul Kagame, uh, president of Rwanda, has accessed the Kasarani Stadium, bringing a total of 14 heads of state who have come to participate and also witness to the inauguration of President-elect William Ruto. 20 had confirmed. So far, we are down to 14 including the United States that have sent a presidential delegation of five. There you see Paul Kagame being received by Rachel Omamo uh, for this. Joining the other dignitaries as the dais as few minutes away from that particular venue is Gashagwa's motorcade. He's expected there at 11.35 a.m. After which we are expecting to see 
His boss, President-elect Dr. William Ruto, also access the Kasarani Stadium. But you can see he's well ahead of time. It is exactly 